somebody just deleted the entire video so we're gonna go back and look at part B I know that going back to my picture point A I had an FN minus an FG I had an FN up FG down therefore I had also FA going at an angle of 35 degrees first FBD come over here you gotta remember that FAY is going up FAX is going to the right that's the components of that vector so when you do your sigmas you gotta make sure you include those forces over here we're gonna say FX FF equals mu FN FF equals 0 0.06 times 61.2 FF equals 3.67 I'm going to show you in a second that sigma Fy that I deleted, how I got that, no big deal. Then we took the sigma Fx equals Fax plus Ff. F net equals 30 cosine 35 because that is the x component of that Fa vector going to the right. Fa is, Ff is going down, the force of friction is going, sorry, not down, left. F net is 20.95 newtons. Remember, your net force is simply your sigma Fx. So when they talk about finding your net force, that's what you're looking for right there. Go back and tell us sigma Fx equals Max. You can copy that just a number or copy that again. Fax plus Ff equals Max. You know, 30 cosine 35 is the x component of the force applied minus 3.67, be careful because it's going negative, opposite of motion, equals 8a because that's the mass. I know cosine of 35 is 0 0.82, put that in the calculation, acceleration turned out to be 2.62. Now, for time's sake, let's go back and grab this guy right here for our cop, uh, control C, come down here, Enter, control V. Uh, that's not what I want. Edit. Control C. Control V. We're going to change this subscript to what? Y. Oops. You know, Y, right? And what you had going up was Y, right? plus F what? F in plus F plus what? F subscript G. Right? That's what all of that should have been right here. There we go. Before we get to that step though, remember you want to say oh, that's right. Now we're going to come back down here and copy it again. Come down here and do what? Control V. So now we're going to come down here and say this is equal to what? M A subscript Y, right? Hit enter. So now you gotta remember that this x copy control v equals what? M A Y. Remember no acceleration. In y direction. Not moving. Right? So now we're gonna come down here and copy this thing here. That simply is what F, F subscript Y, A, what, sine and cosine, sine, right? It's sine because you're looking for the what? Y component, right? And you know this is going to be what? MG, right? So we know this is going to be sine of 35. Let's go back and calculate that sine of 35. 
25.7. That way we know exactly. We know that, that force was 30. Sine 35 was z times 0 0.57. Let's confirm that one more time just to make sure. Handy dandy calculator. Yep, 0 0.57. You know your mass is going to be what? Eight. Yep, and my G is what? My G is my G is negative nine point eight. Why? Because it's going what down. When you solve that problem, that step, then that should take us back to our F N being. where this Fn at the very beginning come from. So I guess I really should just take this whole section here and let's do this. Cut it. Control. Let's do this. We're going to do a copy just in case we delete it. There we go. That's the order that should be in. Right? see the whole problem. You found the coefficient. You found the normal force. You found the force of friction. You found the... Uh, yep. You found the force of friction. You found the net force at which rate will the wagon accelerate. Notice it's positive so it should be accelerating what? To the right. Cool. Done. 